Welcome to Shoppa's Material Handling. I'm Mike. I'm Payne. And we're going to lead you through your delivery experience for your new forklift. We're going to talk about operations of the forklift. We're going to talk about pre-delivery checklist. So Payne, what do you think? I'm ready. Let's show them around. Let's go see your new forklift. Okay, we're here to inspect the equipment before use. That's a pre-operation checklist. Payne? So I have here our electric truck daily checklist. Uh, the first part we're going to do is the visual inspection, and then once we complete that, we're going to move on to the operational inspection. There's some major components that you want to start with initially. Uh, the first thing is going to be looking at the tires, uh, make sure that everything looks normal and there's not any kind of damage. Uh, the second thing you want to do is look under the forklift. Just make sure that there's no battery acid leaking or any kind of water leaking from anywhere. Uh, and then the third step would be to check out the overhead guard. Uh, just make sure that there's no cracks or any kind of damage done to the guard before you get ready to start your forklift. Only an inspection, there's nothing too small. Make sure you check your seat belt, make, make sure it operates correctly. Make sure you can check your seat before you get in there. Make sure everything's working. So it's easy on, easy off, grab bars or secure mirrors. Lights, just check all the lights on the forklift. We're gonna come around the front, we're gonna look at the carriage. We're gonna make sure we don't see anything bad, damaged maybe from a previous shift. We're gonna look at the forks, make sure they're fully functioning. Side shift, hoses, make sure there's just nothing sticking out to catch your eye. You see Payne gets up on the seat, first thing he's gonna do is install the seat belt. He's gonna connect the seat belt here. He's not gonna sit on it. It has to be buckled. You gotta buckle up with a forklift, it's mandatory. Also, you're gonna ask your company, and your company's gonna help you whether a hard hat's needed in your operation, safety glasses, different types of safety glasses, but you might need safety glasses in your operation for debris. The point is, when you're doing all this, is to keep you safe, the pedestrians that are working around you safe, and the company safe, and the forklift safe. Hey, let's look at the steering wheel. Toyota has a lot of nice features. It's like you're getting in your new Toyota car. Uh, you got a hill steering wheel, okay? But it makes it easy to use. You also have emergency part brake. There's different types with your forklift, so you might have a part brake here, a manual hand brake here, um, and there's different ways to release it. This is just hand, it's the easiest one to use. Rear view mirrors for pain to drive the unit. You can see left and right, got good visibility through the back. We also have a center mirror that, can, that you can also get. And then we also have pedestrian blue lights. Very, very popular today. They put a blue light here. I always say do forward facing and rear facing because the pedestrians can see the light coming both ways. Very, very good for protection. And it always keeps the people in the warehouse know where the forklift is. We also have a red zone lighting, which actually allows the pedestrian to see where to stop because there'll be a red line in here and they won't walk into the forklift or get run over by the tire. Steering wheel, headlights, go over to the uh, lift and lower. Let's also go to the tilt and remember the fork leveling on the tilt. So you push the button, engage, it levels the forks every time. And then we have our side shift third function and then you can use the third function and our fourth function for attachment carton clamp single double Payne let's explain what a qualified operator is to everyone okay that's right Mike so all uh, forklift operators must be properly trained in a formal class and they must all obtain a license um, here at shop as material handling we do offer those classes and uh, if you give us a call right here here's our phone number and we'll be happy to do that for you Payne and I are gonna take you to the power of your forklift, the battery. Toyota has a two system retaining for the battery. And also 
we have a lock that's in place for the cylinder pane. And you want to make sure that you don't try to shut this lid here without unlocking this first. So you want to push and hold down and let it release down and then that way you can shut the container.